It's Dave Johal once again for Punch Out Boxing. Pleased to be joined by West Midlands finest, shiny singer Aaron Bone. How are you guys? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, mate. Good, good. We're here in what is a, a massive media circus um, for Sonny Edwards and Galal Yafai. Obviously, you're on the card as well. Bringing in a lot of um, fans, should we just say, all the way from Coventry. Yeah. Another big crowd. How, how does it feel to fight on this card? It's exciting. I mean, look at the names on the card. This is a, something I would dream of as a kid and didn't even think I'd get here. So to, to be on the card and to be, a, to be a staple name on the card with 500 of my people coming, it's such a, such a pinch yourself moment that I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to soak it all in. And I'm grateful to be here. So they say a happy fight is a, a dangerous fight, and I'm definitely happy. So I'm hoping I'm definitely dangerous. Shani, what's he like in the gym? Like, yeah. I mean, you work with a lot of people. Like, no pressure because he's standing right next to you. But what faults and all? What, what's what's Aaron like? Listen, in honestly, I always speak honestly. Aaron, there ain't many that can do what Aaron's done in terms of the injury that we've had. As you know, 15 months out of the ring after a start of a stellar professional career with Matt Trump. You know, Davey and Alara Wood and, you know, the ticket numbers that he does, the fans that he had. Even the scintillating stoppage he had in his last contest against a 6-1 and one Colombian. I mean, everything was sort of heading in the right direction. And then, unfortunately, we need to take a little step back to deal with something that's been happening out for some time. And even with 15 months out of the ring, I mean, he's the real estate crew professional. There's not many that would keep at the weight that he would have been at this 15 months, holding it, doing the bits that he could do, the body strength and, you know, seeing the psychologist and everything. And I was just, just, you know, being a true professional to know that when he was coming back, he was in the best position he could be in to make sure that we were able to look the best on fight night. I can't really, I mean, listen, there's been a couple of times where, you know, we've kind of got Aaron that ain't good enough, but outside of that, um, he, he's been agreement, and I just do you believe that you'll see the best Aaron Bowen on fight night because, you know, all, all the numbers in the gym, all the testing and everything tells us that. So, you know, Aaron turns up on form as he has been doing inspiring you're in for a, for a real special treat and so expensive. Are you a Coventry supporter as well? Yeah, Coventry supporter, yeah. So. Is, is, is that the dream then, yeah? yeah? Rico Stadium. The ring, the, ring, the ring walk song on Saturday is We Live and Die in These Towns, which is the song at the minute of the Coventry games, which is really getting people singing. So that's going to be, uh, hopefully the two can tie in and then that's the dream. The ultimate dream is to get to the Rico. Um, and sell that out in a, in a huge fight world titles hopefully I mean we've always when I say we the, the West Midlands they've, they've been crying out for someone from that area we've, we've been we've had it haven't we but Coventry in particular it's been on the cusp but it's not you know had that is it a fighting town now are we getting that it's, it's always been a fighting city Coventry it's a, it's a working class city in a way and they really it gets the reputation of being rough and boxing's a, a big sport in Coventry we've had some great boxers over the years and they really get behind me and you know I personally dropped off 500 tickets almost myself so it's a very close knit community and it feels like family and it's just going to generate and generate and that's why I have to perform well and I, I can't wait to I can't wait for the next two three years I know you can't look too far but I really think Coventry's going to like make a, a statement in the Midlands. I know this is a Midlands show, but I think soon Coventry will be the name on the on the show. So that's it's exciting and it makes me work that bit harder in the gym. Good stuff. And just very finally as well, next year we're, we're around the corner now, guys. How many times ideally do, do you want to be out? Do you think? In an ideal, uh, I think we're scheduled to be out four times next year. That's the plan. This one sort of to get the ring rust out in our sixth round, and this will probably be our last sixth round. And we'll be pushing to eight next year. And if uh, if we're lucky enough, you'll be seeing our in a title belt or some description towards the back end of 2025. That's the plan. So yeah, all being well, Aaron keeps doing what he's doing, um, and uh, I'm sure you'll see that before the end of 2025. Good stuff. All the best, guys. Good luck, Shiny. Good luck, Aaron, for Saturday night. We look forward to seeing what comes out of it. It'll be good to see you in action again and uh, all the best from Punch-Out Boxing. Thank Cheers. You,